Hey y'all, it's Saint Pam again. Today I'm going to take a look at Daybreak Games. More importantly, I'll be looking at their possible connection with Columbus Nova. Uh, this is a uh, Russian investment company. Uh, the situation is still developing from what I can tell. So there may be some changes and some other stuff come out, but we're going to go on and get started with what I know now. Uh, back in 2015, Sony sold SOE, and the studio continued on as Daybreak Games. The original press release has recently been deleted, but it stated that SOE was purchased by Columbus Nova. Uh, since the purchase of SOE, Daybreak has, has bought other games. Uh, I only know of two for sure, certain, but there may be others. Uh, the two I know of for sure are Lord of the Rings Online and Dungeons and Dragons Online. Uh, everything seemed okay overall. Yeah, they had some layoffs and uh, there were some popular games that got shut down. Uh, some games in development were canceled. <clears throat> EQ Next. Uh, these are things that go hand in hand with a change in management. It's unfortunate, but it's something that we expect to an extent anyway. So, why is Daybreak scrambling to distance itself from Columbus Nova after three years? Well, the issue comes in with Victor Vexelberg. I hope I said that right. Uh, he owns Renova Group and, more importantly, Columbus Nova. The U.S. Treasury has frozen somewhere between one and a half to two billion dollars in assets early uh, earlier this month. He and his company weren't the only ones targeted. Uh, and the reason for the sanctions against these various Russian-owned companies uh, is because of suspend, uh, suspected interference in the 2016 election as well as some supposed other malevolent uh, activities. They're not exactly clear on that. So, Daybreak Games is essentially trying to stop the fire from spreading. Uh, this is why the company is claiming that Columbus Nova never owned the studio. That it was a mistake made years ago on the press release that was never corrected. Apparently, according to Daybreak Now, uh, Jason Epstein actually is the one that owns the company. Uh, he is a former managing partner for Columbus Nova that left in 2017. So yeah, apparently he owns Daybreak. Never mind the fact that Columbus Nova was also named in their privacy policy. No, we should just ignore that. It's just another error, I'm sure. Now, I do think their recent statements are silly that their attempts to cover up this connection to Columbus Nova is silly because there's too much evidence there's going to be screenshots the Wayback Machine is a thing you're not going to be able to hide it you can't delete it off the internet it's also kind of funny that apparently uh, someone with the username like Daybreak PR was banned from Wikipedia for trying to alter the article uh, I hadn't heard of someone being banned for trying to alter it for corrections before, so I don't know. They were trying to change it to look like Epstein had owned them instead of Columbus Nova, so that's curious. Now, um, I, again, I think that all of this is, is kind of silly. Um, there's either been a mistake or both their, uh, with both their PR people and the technical writers for their privacy policy. Um, or they're just incompetent. But yeah, it seems silly. There's too much evidence. By the same token, some of the reactions I've seen on Twitter and accusations seem unfounded right now. Uh, maybe there's some evidence I haven't seen, but none of the articles I read point to, I've read uh, point to 
most of the accusations around Daybreak Games itself being accurate. Yes, Renova may have been involved in something, maybe Beck, uh, Bexelberg was involved in something, but there's nothing really founded in uh, Daybreak Games doing anything illegal. Yet. I will put that caveat on there. Yet. I don't, maybe there's something and I just haven't seen it. Um, but I've seen people claiming that they're laundering money to Russia. Quite frankly, if the Russian company Columbus Nova does own Daybreak Games, I don't think that really counts as laundering because the parent company is just making money off of their child company. But again, maybe there's something I've missed. I'm completely open to whatever um, links you guys have to parts of the story that I may not have seen. Um, what I think, however, is that we need to step back, relax a little bit, take some deep breaths, and wait to see what actually unfolds here. Maybe it really was just a series of really bad mistakes that they never bothered to correct. Maybe it wasn't. I think that is a stretch, to say the least. If it was just the press release, then okay, maybe. They should have called it earlier and corrected it, but you know what, maybe. With it being the press release, with it being in their privacy policy, I don't really see that as being a possibility. <laughs> Unless the same person does both, then maybe. And then they just, they need to hire more people if that's the case. Um, but in my mind, if you are a fan of any of the games Daybreak currently owns, just hold off on your rage. Uh, I had to check my own because I like EverQuest 2. I enjoy it. I liked Lord of the Rings Online. So I had to check my own rage here a little bit. But uh, the company has its flaws and there are plenty of reasons to dislike it with what they've done to games they do own, with what they've, uh, with promises that they've gone back on. Uh, like Landmark was supposed to be stay open and it, it was closed. Uh, EQ Next was canceled. Again, I was really looking forward to that one. I don't know if you guys can tell. I thought the Dark Elves looked amazing in the concept art, so I was really interested to see it. But, yeah, there's there's plenty of reasons to dislike it for the various games you enjoy that they've made changes to that maybe you don't agree with. Um, maybe, maybe this situation will be just one more thing on the pile. Maybe it won't. I just think that we need to wait and see what happens once all of the information comes out. Uh, if everything comes out, hopefully, hopefully it does. And they have some proof that it is just Epstein that owns the company. And then we can all relax. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for now. I thought this was interesting. I found out about it this morning. I know. Uh, and there's been lots of articles on it. Obviously, I'm going to be linking those below. Uh, there's also a Reddit post that I thought was interesting that takes kind of an in-depth look at the uh, sanctions themselves. So I'm going to link that below. And maybe that'll give you a different insight into this. Uh, I would also love to hear what you guys think. Uh, see any links you have involving this. But yeah, that's all I've got. Thank you all for listening, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.